That got me so excited, but you're not going to be able to do it on this. I know you're not. <laughs> All right, I love Conan hey, O'Brien. Uh, Conan O'Brien is he's funny as hell. Okay, if you don't like Conan O'Brien, there's something wrong with you. Uh, the dude, hey, you know, I'm in the West Village. makes good videos, so let's go ahead and give this one a watch. Conan O'Brien makes uh, New York City pizza, which New York City pizza is famous worldwide, literally. It is probably one of the most famous things about uh, not not America, but you think of foreign countries like they know some of them. Some of the people like and the weird like like let's say Tasmania. That's a fucking random country, right? There's people in Tasmania that you know probably know just a little bit about America, but they I'm sure they know the food, man. Like they know. The New York pizza, they know the fucking, uh, you know, what is it? Deep, Detroit has deep dish. I think it's Detroit uh, deep dish pizza or something. That's what their style is. I think uh, Chicago is something similar. I don't know. So you got to think this, the food in America is known worldwide. Okay. There's so many different things. So, uh. Yeah, man. That'd be so good. I would love to do this. I'm standing outside Joe's Pizza. Many people regard this as the best New York pizza around. Unless, of course, you're a fan of Ray's Pizza, or Famous Ray's, or Original Ray's. The Famous Ray's. Ray's. The Original or Ray's. Or Infamous Ray's Pizza, <laughs> or Ray Ray's There's Pizza. There's so many pe Ray Ray's Pizza, Other yeah. Than that, that sign was fake. You Joe's. could see it. So I'm going to go inside and find out what's their secret, <laughs> see if I can't take it back to Los Angeles. Everybody loves pizza. By the way, it's good to know that the bicycle I left here three years ago is still doing well. <laughs> wow. Thank you, New York. Let's head inside. Okay, we're inside uh, Joe's Pizza, and you are... Sal. Sal, and you are... <clears throat> Joe. Joe, you are the grandfather. I'm the grandfather. So you know the secret of good pizza. Let me show you what my problem is. Can I tell you my problem? Yeah, Let me tell you my, I have a few problems. First of all, there's a rash, but we won't talk about that. Right. It's all up my back. <laughs> I nice. live in Los Angeles now. Used to live here in New York. Love the pizza. I go to Los Angeles. That's why you got your pizza. rash, no New York. Anywhere. No pizza. I'm going to show you some Los Angeles pizza right now. This has squash, blossoms, eggs, Ew. hazelnuts, oh, come and on. crab. This is what you can get this down Ew. in Santa Monica. That's that sounds disgusting. disgusting. Look at that. Oh, yeah, people love this. Disgusting. You know what this pizza cost in LA? This is a $600 pizza. This is plant. What? Give it a chance. This is clam and bacon. Mm. <laughs> Put all the oil in the back of this thing. It's disgusting. See that man. oil right there? What the hell is that, man? This is all vegetable <laughs> and soy. Not even real cheese, soy. And this, you know how much this pizza goes for in L.A.? This is a $15,000 pizza. <laughs> yeah, and you're supposed to hang it on your wall. You're not supposed to eat it. Now let's look at a real pizza. Let's look at one of your slices. Look at that. Nice and floppy, but not too floppy. We got this some nice right flop, flop to it. And here's yeah. another thing. This texture back here. And everyone sees something different when they look at the back of a slice. Do you know what I mean? Everyone sees a different shape. I see an owl I face. I see my father yelling at me, telling me I'm not good enough. Yeah, it does look like a mouse. They, do this in Los they it can't does. do it. They can't do it. They can't do it. They're all on coke. They're all coked up in LA. Everyone's on coke. And meth. They've all got giant breasts, even the men. And They've heroin. Giant breasts. That's why they can't make the pizza. They can't even see it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got wow. it, I got it. There it is. Watch this one. Watch this move. You know, uh, that's a, the areas in okay, LA we do. drug I ridden. Kill it. What are you talking about? This can't be fixed. It's everywhere, so. man. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> it's easy, man. You're my story. Though. I'm taking this home with me. I don't need you. I'm going to take this with me and prove to you that this is a good pizza. Put on this. Yeah, you think it's a good pizza. Okay, I call this the manta ray. <laughs> now, look at this. This is a big tub of cheese. The manta ray. This is, nice. uh, this, is a, this is mozzarella. Mozzarella. But you call it mozzarella. Mozzarella. A mozzarella. Mozzarella. A mozzarella. mozzarella. Am I doing it right? A mozzarella. Mozzarella. A mozzarella. Right. Mozzarella. Right. Mozzarella. Right. mozzarella. Right. mozzarella. mozzarella. <laughs> Say it with me. Mozzarella. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. A mozzarella. I almost got a mozzarella. it. I mean, that's the idea is you're supposed to kind of fall asleep a little bit at the end. A mozzarella. And then just drift off. Push it up. Push it up. Like a boot. Like a what? Like a what? <laughs> Conan was probably. Like a boot. Conan was probably the best talk show host to ever do it. Okay. Some of the other people are funny. 
Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Fallon, it's funny. Um, even some of the people before him. McConan's hilarious. <laughs> and I'm a gamer, and he started doing the gaming shit, and that shit's funny too, so. I've been just grabbing on real hard. The pizza's on me, everybody. Are you going to figure out how to cut this right now? And you're all welcome to any free pizza here anytime you want. I haven't cleared this with Joe. <laughs> yeah, nice. Is that big enough for you? You want more? You look upset. That looks, that's, that's a good value. You can, this will last you a week. Yeah, you take that. You go right to Roosevelt Hospital. You have your heart checked. Who's next? Who can I help? Oh, look at this. Oh, now we're talking, huh? Just throws another pizza. See that pizza right there, okay? See this? Uh, I think this, I believe. Okay, I, I consider myself very knowledgeable in the world of pizza, but I will say that I have only had this pizza a couple of times. And I think, I think this is... A margarita pizza okay and i swear to god a week ago i called was it papa john's and i tried to order this and they said they didn't have it okay and then i went to another place i called another place and they had it but it was like literally three times the price of every other pizza and i don't understand why is it just like because they're just chunks of special mozzarella and it's not like a mozzarella provolone mix of the basic? I don't know. You know what? But it steered me away and that's my story. That's all I have to say. There's not much of a story there. But I want to try it. I've had it before. It looks good. And yeah, I'm really considering getting one of these right now. Oh, that cheese, those cheese clumps. That's some more. That's some more. You have a beautiful voice, man. A uh, high pitch, I like that. <laughs> well, I wasn't high pitch. That yeah. was low. <laughs> As a young boy in Killarney, so many years ago, he grinded that content, though, you know? All these people are unimpressed. <laughs> he goes to plug his ears because he's like, uh, that's so terrible. Conan O'Brien, everybody loves him. <laughs> Massively walks the line between being offensive and being hilariously funny. Because he's not either of those, but he's still funny enough. Still funny enough. All right, let's watch this too, because this looks funny. All right, Conan visits a Taco Bell. Now, everybody loves Taco Bell, so I can only imagine how this is going to go, because Taco Bell is amazing. We have a guy on our staff who's the head of our IT department. His name is Chris Hayes. There's a photo of him. Great, yeah, a little confident. <laughs> he's a great guy. He's very Mr. Clean. I know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's a great guy. He's a computer genius. Here's the thing, whenever I walk by Chris's desk, it's not that far from my office, whenever I walk by his desk, he's almost always eating Taco Bell. And I am not making that up. He is obsessed with their food. Yes. I mean, like, who it's isn't? Like a religion with him. Who isn't obsessed with Taco Bell? Okay. Now, you don't have to eat it three or four times a day. But I think everybody can agree that Taco Bell is... <laughs> I mean, it's delicious. Yes. Okay. It's absolutely delicious. And it's gotten to the delicious. point where we make jokes about it at the office. Well, that got me wondering, if Chris loves Taco Bell so much, is yeah. there something I can do for him that won't cost me any money just, but give him no, great get, joy get him Taco Bell. using the incredible power I have in show business? F free okay? Taco Bell. Well, I thought about it. I came up with a scheme. Here's what I did. Uh, I wanted to do a nice thing for you because I make people's dreams come true. I'm the TV host that... Oh, I know you, and that's most likely Ellen that does that. You think more yeah. Ellen than me. That's or Oprah. Fair. Okay, all right. You'll get a free that. house. This is what I did. You'll get a free I've house. taken Chris here to Taco Bell headquarters in Irvine, California. It's the headquarters. And we are going to give you the complete... 
Taco Bell experience. Get in here. Okay, again, that's nice. harder than I thought. So we're gonna go in right now nice. to the sleepy little hamlet that is Taco Bell. There it oh. is, right there. Tiny little Mexican All village. that T-Bell in there. Let's do it. Let's do it. They better have this a lot of toilets. Gardner, hi Katie. Hi. And you're a marketing manager here I at Taco am. Bell. Yes. You're going to give Chris the full Taco Bell experience today? Yeah, we have quite a few super fans, so we have kind of a, an experience that we like to save for all of you special, special people. When you say super fans, define super fans. How many times a week does someone have to eat Taco Bell to be considered a super fan? I would say at least twice a week. Twice a week? He's, I think, <laughs> That's okay. easy. That's easy. I am, I am like a four times over super fan. Okay. okay. Four. He's got that. If you want to take it to the next level, though, you have to get a tattoo. So. Oh. Are there people that have a Taco there Bell? There are several people that have Taco wow. Bell tattoos. Wow. Would you get a Taco Bell tattoo? I would. Get a Taco I, would <laughs> I would totally. Uh, Tyson tattooed his face. Yes. <laughs> a uh, big old burrito, like hand, just kind of like. Taco Bell oh, it'd be awesome. For the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We're here in the Taco Bell Museum. What are we looking at here, Katie? Here you are looking at a brick from one of the very first Taco Bells in San Bruno. Oh, thank God. I wow. thought that was the a brick. first experimental taco. <laughs> it did not go well. Nice. Everyone, loves, everyone remembers they the Taco Bell dog. What is, how is that different? Okay, so it's... And will you look at me when you tell me about it? <laughs> yes. Please? Okay, go. Okay. We're going to play a little romantic music while this happens. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Three cheese blend. <laughs> Half brown. Sausage. Oh. Creamy jalapeno sauce. Oh. All wrapped up. Oh, it is good, too. I'm meeting my wife today. I will follow you to the end of the earth. You can also put a Cinnabon Delight inside of it. Don't say that. <laughs> what? No. No, there's no way. No. What is that called? Breakfast crunch up with a Cinnabon inside. There's no, there's absolutely no way. Was she joking around? She was, she had to be joking. Okay. Uh... No way, man. Wait, what? Not inside. Did she say inside? Sausage. Hold on, hold on. Creamy jalapeno sauce. Everybody listen. All wrapped up in a tortilla. I'm meeting my wife today. I will follow you to the end of the earth. <laughs> she said inside, right? You can also put a Cinnabon Delight inside of it. Don't say. There she said, yeah. You can also put a cinnamon delight inside. Wait, what? Uh, what? How in the hell? How in the hell? Oh my god. That is... Wait. Alright, guys. We are at the Taco Bell website. Okay, let's see this. See, so we have the breakfast crunch wrap combo. Uh, for six nineteen, we can get one. Uh, let's hit customize. That got me so excited, but you're not going to be able to do it on this. I know you're not. <laughs> Agree to your cookies. You can give me whatever cookies you want. Bacon. What's included? Steak in there? Wait, what? Oops. What did I do? Oh, no. Hash browns, extra hash browns, eggs, add this. There is no option to add one of those inside. What is this Taco Bell? What is this? Okay, we just watched this video together. We saw that you can indeed, from the marketing whatever she said right here. She's the marketing, head of marketing at the Taco Bell fucking HQ. I'm meeting my wife today. Here she says it. For the last time, and then you we'll can move also on. Put a Cinnabon delight inside of it. Don't say that. <laughs> don't say that and you mean it. We are actually at the This is where we have employees come and they test our food. I love oh, this place. That sounds good. So, well, you have a job, okay? <clears throat> That's never. Okay. 
How are you enjoying that sandwich? I'm about to bite into it. Do you mind if we film that? Sure. Okay, I'm not going to be creepy about it, but... Well, but first, okay. I have to drizzle the... Oh my God. Honey. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Hold me. Jalapeno yeah. honey sauce. Right? Okay. How could okay. you? Could you imagine every day working at a place like this, like a headquarters of a fast food place, and you get to try food like this? Like you get paid, you know, your normal work salary to just be able to eat lunch all the time. You know, that's thousands of dollars a year paid to eat. Food. That's okay. incredible. That I yeah, don't even know. I mean, I'm not going to use I... it on myself, though. Oh, well, you could. No, <laughs> you could have accidents. Take a look at that. Oh, my God. Wait, we need to get, like, the perfect shit? camera yeah. shot of the oh. shit. Oh, gonna... We missed it. Um, oh, for God. <laughs> do you ever hire someone God to watch it. the people as they're eating the food? Yes. Because I would do that. Well, let's go do that. Well, I'm doing it now. No, I'm not. Let's, we'll take it to the other side. <laughs> so these are people coming oh, in. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Right oh, wow. Now, sitting down. They actually... And that's... That's Janelle. That's her. That's Janelle. That's Janelle. That's Janelle. That's Janelle. Which window is she at? Six. Six? She's sitting there eating. Oh, look at this. Oh. All right, I'm just going to be peeking at you. Down here. So they st oh, she's making a mess. Look at her. I can't even swallow right now. <laughs> What's that? That wasn't the same thing she had. She had something else. She had a big, uh, it was like, you know, what is this? Hold on. She had something else a minute ago. See? Has no paper on there. People have accidents. Oh I guess it God. does. Delicious. I guess it does. Yeah. But they serve her right from that window. You know, hot food coming straight out of the thing. Okay, yeah. I guess it did happen. <laughs> Hi, Missy. How are you? Missy, you run the Innovation Kitchen. I do today. You're this in there making it. This is a new, it, never the... before tried Ooh. quesalupa. This is not even available to the public oh, yet. Correct. Yes. We're getting a chance to try I this I love out. quesalupas, okay, man. Look at that. They pile those things high. One of the best things I've ever eaten. Oh, yeah. Do you like the name Quesalupa? I do. It makes sense. Okay. Sounds a little like case, a case of lupus. I just keep thinking about that. <laughs> got a case of lupus. A blood disease. You, you don't want that. You don't want a case well, of lupus. That is not good. Experimental bite. Let's do it. Uh, he's making a mess. Look at that. Jesus. What a hog. Come on. Clean yourself up already. <laughs> so dramatic. He's a bit cringe. I'll say that. He is a bit cringe. But he's Conan O'Brien. Okay, it's funny. That was good. Does anyone mind if I have another sip of my clown wig? Are you guys ready for dessert? I'm just hitting my dessert? Fly. Yes. So these cinnamon twists are pretty classic to Taco Bell. They're crunchy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Missy's doing the presentation. I didn't know they're <laughs> and you're just chomping into them. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So cinnamon twists are pretty classic to Taco Bell. They've been around for a long time. <laughs> are you shoving them in your face without anyone seeing? That is so embarrassing. He's That's hiding. Um, so I'm sorry. You said this is a, a DNA strand <laughs> that you guys deep fried and then shot out of a cinnamon cannon. Is that right? Whose like, DNA am I eating right now? You're eating cinnamon twist DNA. Mm, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Could we do more? Absolutely. I'd love to invite you to make some of your own Ooh. menu items. Ooh. There's one thing we know about me. It's that I'm a very good Mexican chef. I have a lot of ideas, and I think some of them are quite good. For example, you guys are obsessed with uh, taco shells, quesadillas as a food delivery system. But what you're overlooking is one of the most time-honored food delivery systems around. Oh, yeah. Ice cream cone. No, of course. <laughs> beans, some chicken, guacamole, more this beans. This is the way to the future for Taco Bell. <laughs> okay. Oh. La Cona. La Cona. La Cona. Chris, you like the Burrito Supreme? Yes. Have you ever tried to eat one while you were driving? Yes. Hard to do, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I've got the solution. You start selling these. Oh, yeah. That's what people use to play harmonicas. Classic. Okay. And it's a burrito delivery system. Oh, yeah. I think I'll change the radio station. There you go. Oh. 
That's actually pretty good. Today, I mean, look I at that thing. That thing was... That thing's legit, man. Wow. That was pretty damn good. Today, I'm going to give to you my invention for Taco Bell, the Irish taco. I'm really excited. It's called the Otaco. Cabbage, mashed potatoes, <laughs> corn beef, and lots of corn beef. Corn beef. beef. And then my own special oh, sauce. Jesus Christ. Guinness, yes. <laughs> the griller, please. Uh and bigor. It's the old taco. The old taco bay. <laughs> Grab yours today at the end of the rainbow. Well, another fast food chain where I'm no longer welcome. But I do want to thank you guys at Taco Bell. Are you happy now? I'm extremely happy. Okay. It's been a good day. You're fired. Goodbye. <laughs> well, they're like, what the fuck? Just like somewhat. Let's see. The hands-free burrito. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good, I have to say. I like that. Everybody likes food. If you don't like food, then just get out.